Hey everyone, what's going on? We're live here on Twitch, and we're about to play a game of Civilization Revolution. Uh, let's get started. We're going to play a game of the French tonight. On Deity. But of course. So I'm going to need all of your power tonight. Because I'm playing the French, and hands down, they are... If not the worst, at least the second worst. So, uh, I'm going to have to play this perfectly. And uh, so basically they start with pottery, which is basically worthless. It's kind of like a meme in this channel that we should research pottery right away. But actually pottery is pretty useless overall. I mean, it, get, it can help you uh, get to masonry and irrigation, but that's about it really. Probably the coolest thing that the French have going for them is starting with a, a cathedral, which can be kind of cool. One of the coolest things about it is uh, starting out with a ton of culture, so of course it's easy for them to get their first great person. Hey Zach, the Lickitung666, how are you doing man? Welcome to the stream, I'm glad you learned a lot from my videos. Uh, I feel like I'm even learning a lot from my videos. I keep getting better with each game, so I think we're all learning something here. Uh, so I'm going to let you know if... <laughs> yes, please, thank you. I need your energy. Please lend me your power. I'm playing the French tonight. So, um, if this is a totally bogus start, I'm going to totally reset. I'm just going to go ahead and throw that out there. Um, because I want to have a good time, I could have an okay time with an okay start, but I'm actually looking, I might give this a restart or two just to see how this goes. Uh, let's see here. Oh, that's interesting. What is interesting about this, this is wine right here. <laughs> so the French could actually use that from the start. Maybe a good idea to go this way. Let's let's find out. Actually, this might be a dead end over here. So this might be no good. Well, I did find this. So that's 25 gold. That's something. Oh, I'm stuck here at a dead end. So I don't know about this. So that means I'm very far away. Very far away from someone else. I was kind of thinking strategically I wanted to get really close. Yeah, man, I got a new haircut. You see that? It's looking sharp. Keeping it high and tight. And, ooh, all these, all this money on this map. I'm gonna have to probably restart this. This just ended up running the wrong way. So, um, just for the sake of seeing what would happen here, let's see what this is. Let's see what happens if I do this. I'm just curious if I can get a walk-in at this point. Huh. <laughs> I am just curious if the... Nah, see, he got his... He got his first warrior right there. French, the most useless civ. Yeah, probably so. I'm thinking, uh... I honestly think the Mongols are worse, but uh, at least at least the French get a positive in my book. At least they get the cathedral, which is you can do some cool things with. Uh, it doesn't work that often, but if you can um, plant your capital next to an enemy capital, which is what I'm trying to do here, I'm trying to plant my capital next to theirs, and then what happens is you grow your city a little bit and they can't even use their own trees. So um, that's actually kind of funny if you can do that. But really the ideal thing is you really want to take an enemy capital early. But that's just really hard to do with the French because they just don't have anything going for them. So I'm being a little bit greedy here. I'm trying to get an enemy capital walk-in or something like that. But that's just going to be really difficult with the French just because they just don't have anything that can help them 
like the Aztecs, for example, they start with 25 gold. So it was a little easier to pull that off in that last game that I played. But in, the, in this one, they just don't really have anything. They don't have an attack bonus. They don't have anything. So, uh, what's over here? Oh, gold. I like gold. Yeah, the spy is pretty worthless if, if you're playing like head-to-head. -head. Someone's just gonna... Oh, that's terrible. Don't go that way. That was a wasted turn. Oh, I found this. That could be good. Is this game gonna tell me? Where's the enemy? I must find the enemy. Where's everyone? Holy cow, they're far. Dude, where are they? It always amazes me when you're like so far away from the enemy. Holy cow, where are these dudes? Obviously playing this a little riskier than you would normally play. I would never recommend doing this in something like a multiplayer game or anything like that. Dude, this is, I'm just amazed how far these people are. I've never done so much running. Anyone? Where are they? Holy cow. Oh, wow. It took me till 26. <laughs> Actually, this is an amazing spot if I was a Spanish. Look at these two whales. Let's run in. I just can't believe how long it took to find somebody. Hey, guys. What's going on? Wow. Look how far I ran. So, obviously, running with your settlers is very risky, especially if you're trying to find the enemy, because that's always a little bit risky. I may have to just kind of settle for a decent spot here. Uh, but really the best case scenario is camping next to your opponent and then uh, trying to get a walk-in on their capital. I've been practicing that lady, that, that tactic lately, and I'm looking to make a video specifically on the topic of getting walk-ins on Deity. It's actually it's tough, but it's not as hard as you would think, especially with certain civilizations. Especially like Aztec, it's probably the easiest. Like if you're going to practice walk-ins on enemy capitals, uh, Aztec are the way to do, way to go. All right, where am I? Let's go find some bad guys. Alright. Got a villager. Show me something on this map. Uh, this could be decent. Right here. I could plant right next... Right on this corner. No, it's farther over here. Yeah. Interesting. Domination victory? Yeah, you can get a 3300 walk in. That's what I'm talking about, Arch Ghost. Um, the only problem with going up this way. Yeah. And there, yeah, it's a pretty good list right there for domination victory. I like Zulu a lot too. It's going to be a risk, but let's go for it.
Yeah, see, they got their warrior, and he's just hanging out. Very interesting. Yeah, this ain't gonna work. The Americans are probably the toughest ones to get walk-ins on. So, I think I'm just gonna get a decent spot and set up camp and see what I can get for a time here. Hey, Uncle Kev. What's going on? All this running around is just getting me in trouble. Oh, you're talking about the maze map world? Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, Arabs definitely lose a lot of steam. They don't have a lot going beyond that. But the, the early going is really the most important time. If you can get a fast start, it's kind of all that matters. Aztecs are the most flexible. Just that uh, healing after combat is just unbelievable. Uh, let's see here. No way. It's hard to get a good start with these guys. Yeah, actually, with just regular horse armies, I think I've had over, like, 50, like near 50 attack or something crazy like that. Just with regular horse armies. Fundamentalism and everything else. How do I make deity, deity look easy? Um, just keep expanding, really. Expansion is the key to the game. And being really aggressive early on. Oh boy, this is a weird peninsula they got me on. Holy fish. Look at all this gr Look at all these planes. <laughs> yeah, that was a pretty brutal uh, scenario that I tried out. Man, there's like no trees around here. This would be a decent start right here. A spy, huh? That's interesting. Ah, uh, this is gonna have to do, I suppose. This is decent. This will be decent. Um could sell the spy or continue exploring with the risk of getting captured. Uh, let's see here. So let's hope I find some nice natural wonders and good stuff like that. I don't know about 
The Egyptians are right around the corner. I might be able to take them out. Hopefully I don't die. Like, lose two warriors here. Please. Come on. Come on. So awful. So awful. Gonna have to heal this guy up. It's gonna cost me a lot of time. Very nice. Oh, look at that. Maybe I can take the Spanish out. No, the, the Egyptians aren't going to get a great person anytime soon here. Six culture per turn. I'm going to have to give this a try. I'm going to try to take the Spanish out because they got a hill right next to their capital. What do the Egyptian have going on? I know French warriors are the same as everyone else's warriors, but I swear I have like the worst luck with French warriors. Two ancient, oh, that's not so good. So as long as the Spanish continue to have one technology, I will know for a fact that they don't have archers, so that's the important thing to know. What? How long is it going to take to get there? Quite a while. It's seven turns. I think that may be a little too far, so I'm just going to take it this way. Unfortunately, that means no early capital for me, so that's going to be a little rough. Oh! Oh, hey, Miguel. <laughs> Lin Leguin. I don't know how to say that, man. You got, like, the hardest name. See, you came over from the Discord. Came over from the Discord server. So what I'm going to do is to compensate for the French. Uh, this is the fact they don't have much power. I'm just going to try to get some horses out. We got a, quite a few. Hopefully I can get, take advantage of these barbarian huts and uh, pump out some horse armies. And hopefully do something productive here. No, that's not a... I didn't think that was a name tile, but you never know. Yes, thank you. It's a palindrome. Which makes it very difficult to say. Come on, French warriors. Um, there you go. Not too bad. What is special about the French... That's a great question. They start with pottery, one of the most exalted skills in the game. I'm cooler? Oh, thanks, Miguel. That's really nice of you, man. Let's go explore this way. I'm in kind of situated in an interesting spot right here. Because Madrid is really cut off by me. So we'll see what they'll do about that. <laughs> they, yes. Perfect. The French are special because they're terrible. 
Hey, Mr. Mazel Tavi. Thanks for joining the team. Uh, let's see here. Let's see. Can we actually win a battle without losing a win? Wait, oh, nope. Always lose with one. Come on, France. Do something. Do something cool. So I get horsies next turn. Um, yeah. That was kind of stupid, but okay. Oh, some nice goodies around here. The best perks throughout the eras? Mm, tough question. Oh, we have Colossus. That's not a good thing. That is not a good thing at all. I have to steal that city. Somehow. I don't know how, but I have to do it. Gold, please. Nope, more spies. Can't get enough of these spies, boys. Let's just camp them right there. <laughs> I feel like they should have given the French some nice catapults. Alright, got us a boat. See what we can do with that. I think we're gonna go west. Come on. Still no money, still no money. I'm kind of tempted to just save these spies because all of these cities around me generate a lot of culture. England and, and the Egyptians, so I have a feeling it won't take too long to possibly steal some something like a great builder. I don't think that would be like within around 10 turns or so. Ugh, that Colossus is really bad though. I need to do something about that. Roads cost a lot of money, man. That could be a unit, you know. Yeah, it's going to be tough to attack Egypt. They've got all that culture going on, so we won't be able to heal. That's going to be rough. On the bright side, I have all this amazing French culture helping me out. Whoa! This guy's all up in my grill. Sending out legions already. Yeah, roads can be a problem defensively as well. Like that messed me up in one of my, uh, in my when I was playing Maze Map World. I had the Zulu running up and down my roads, using my roads against me. Let's send these warriors. Go explore on the over on this side. It's over here. 
Alright. These guys, these guys already have archers. They probably all have archers by now. Uh oh. Don't mind me, buddy. Aztecs, Romans, and someone else. They all get half price, half cost roads. I'm not going to be able to get over there. So I might as well just come back here. Uh, let's see, gonna have to go this way. Might as well take him out, no reason not to. Keep this guy busy. Hey, you never know. Maybe I'll find the seven cities of gold. It's possible. Oof. This is going to be rough. Thanks for joining the team, Syria. Now what I can do, I can go set up a choke point over here. And the Egyptians won't be able to do anything about that for a long time. Fortresses are very effective. Like unbelievably effective. So there's really no reason to not take advantage of them. Even on Deity, they just kind of don't even want to deal with them. Nice. Always disembark with your militia as much as you can, too. You never know when you're going to hit a name tile like this. I can't believe how many whales are right here. There's one, two. Useless whale over there. Whale here. Pretty sick. This right here would be a pretty nice... A gold city or a science city, something like that. Be nice to get my expansion going. Need more gold though. Is that really a dead end over there? Oh, that stinks. So I'm kind of hemmed in between the three of these guys. Hmm, it's gonna be tough. I might have to sell. Oh, the Egyptians use theirs. So I might as well sell my spy here. I need the gold too much right now. Let's see, is anyone over here? Yep. Someone's over here. Coming to get me. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's all programmatically generated, so... The game just kind of generates it and... Often doesn't make sense, but there it is. Alrighty. Whew. 
This is pretty rough because I can't really go a lot of places. I feel like I'm really just kind of hemmed in here. I don't really have a lot of choices. Just gonna split these armies up and just kind of have one watch each guy and then maybe I can do some fun stuff with these horse armies to try to take advantage but I need to figure figure out a way to use some get some kind of advantage here Yeah, man, a green screen. We're high tech, and we're high tech around here. <coughs> Is this more money? Here we go. Well, this boat's raking in some money for me. Let's see. Oh, man. Look at that. Okay. I guess I can do something with that. Hey, man, you want pottery? I got pottery. I got horseback riding. You can have all my technology, girl. Give me your money. How about you? Hey, you want... You want to give me money, too? I'm okay with that. Not really worried about these two. I'm worried about Egypt. So I'll sell all kinds of technology. Damn. I still need a little bit of money here. <laughs> yes, we are at peace. They don't have any money. Really wanted to get my gold city here. Yeah, I see the Eng I see the gold get I see uh English get great leaders all the time. I don't know what the deal is with that. Alright. This is gonna be a slum fest. Go figure. It was pretty ugly. Is that a name tile? Maybe I can get some money from that. Maybe worth running down there. Just to see. It's almost like you're better off just going for horses instantly with the French. Because the, they just don't really have much going. Really, this great leader. Don't really know what to do with him. He's not going to give me a lot of advantage. Oh, 
There we go. Actually, was some gold down there. Nothing there. Looks like uh, I think London expanded. Did they just went from four to three? Are they? Hmm. Wonder how they did that. Well, got my settler at least. Do I have bronze working? Not even sure. Let's go see. No, I don't have that. Might be good to get that though. Uh, this is tough. Doesn't really seem that Spain's doing much of anything. Well, I guess that's something. Kind of strange. I don't know. Well, no. Great general. Well, great leader, I should say. I'm going to have to scrap for every bit. Scrap for every bit of advantage here. What are these guys doing? Eh, Spain might get a great person soon too. So I should watch for that. Yeah. I'm not sure that China's in this game quite yet. We're about to find out. Does anyone have writing? That is the question. If someone already has writing, I'm not going to waste my time. Yeah, someone already has it. Someone's going to go for bronze working instead. So, I don't think the Egyptians. No, I don't. It must be the Chinese. Is this a name tile? Or is this a name tile? What is it? Oh. Alright. I'm going to have to go jump in this boat. There's too many goodies. Over on the west side over here, but then that'll kind of leave me defenseless. No one running around patrolling, but oh well. At least I'm coming up on a culture milestone here. Thanks to, oh, here we go. Yep, you're just going to have to settle them there. It's pretty much the best thing I can do at this point. At least we can go get these barbarian villages over here. Get a little something going. Let's settle them in Paris. We'll see how that goes. 
could be good. He's actually, I mean, great leaders are cool. It's just, uh, they're not sure it's quite as good as all the other great people out there. Oh, this could be interesting. They just settled by a hill. Okay. Let me set this to masonry for... Oop. Oh, boy. A humanitarian. You gave me a humanitarian, but I don't really have a lot of ability to grow here. That's the problem. I don't have a lot of food here. But it could get me a little bump here. This is better than nothing. The other problem is Egypt is in this game. Builder is definitely the great, best great person, there's no doubt. Um, how many texts do these guys have? I kind of want... Just going to have to use this. It will take way too long for that to pay off otherwise. Hanging gardens? Mm. So not really getting great any awesome great people or anything like that the great leader was stolen and got a humanitarian um kind of junky uh, let's get blitz they just gave me a free horse too so we'll see what we can do with that We can at least take this one city. That could make this a little more fun. Yeah, scientists, builders, I would say number one, and then scientists, number two. I would almost always build a wonder with a great builder. East India Company being the number one thing. That's by far the best wonder you can get. Basically, I'm trying to figure out what are the Egyptian, how much technology the Egyptians have. So, if you look here on the scoreboard, it says that I have four technologies and Spanish have six. So, if it says I have four and I'm in second place. I may still have a shot at getting him the irrigation bonus, so that might actually be worth it to me. Got to keep an eye out for these great people. Uh, okay, so we could get eight turns. I could get it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh! That's all right. He'll pay for the... He would pay for that transgression. He fell for my trap. Let's keep these guys together. Um, actually, what I should do, I should get this guy into the boat and just have him run around and see if he can get some cool stuff. I'm going to need something.
Let's just be patient here. Run this guy over to his boat and see if we can find something. I have no idea what's in here, but if it's anything higher than 4.5, forget it. Oh! Oh! Unless I take out these guys pretty quickly. There we go. There we go. So I lied. It was 6, and I went for it anyway. You know, it's really, you gotta really kinda play it by ear when you're attacking those cities. So, it kinda started, you gotta watch the battle, the first few attacks. If it starts really looking good, it's it's not always the a perfect indication that you're gonna win. But it can be an indication that it may go well. If that makes any sense. So let's see if we can make something out of nothing here. So far so good. Half cost roads, totally worthless. That's all right. I got a wall, so that's something. Um, I should still have the irrigation bonus available. Let's see. Nope, it's gone. Oh well. That's a bummer. Man, this is rough. I can't get the monarchy bonus first. I can't get the navigation bonus first. I can't get the irrigation bonus first. I can't get the writing bonus first. This is a terrible combination. Holy cow. This is a terrible combination of opponents to play against. All the goodies are taken away. I can't get construction. That's ridiculous. Oh, by the way, I just became a Twitch affiliate on Monday. Pretty amazing. I just want to thank you guys for the amazing support so far I've had on Twitch. I um, only joined two weeks ago. And I already have like 120 followers. And so, yeah, I became a Twitch affiliate in like two weeks. It was pretty crazy. I was expecting it to be a lot slower than that. So it's been really cool. Uh, so far, so good. So just keep going. Keep pumping out some cool content. Here's the Chinese. Okay, what can we do here? Heal them up. could be a pretty sick growth city right here. I have two river tiles, three grass tiles. I mean, I'm not big on growth cities, really, but that's positioned well for that. Oof, China, up to seven techs. They always come out to a crazy start. They're probably going to pick up literacy first. Yeah, I think uh, most came from YouTube. I think that's what happened. Fifty gold? What can I get? Another horse. Okay. This game obviously wants me to be <laughs> to play aggressively here. It keeps giving me military units, so on the bright side I got twelve tech per turn. Not too bad. And I think we'll be doing okay here. School of Confucius. Someone got School of Confucius. You dirty animal. Keep an eye on these guys here. Up, up, up. 
So I'm trying to subtract science from the city so it hits it. I have 32, so I only want to get 8. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert it to hammers instead. Hey, welcome, Telerik Virus. I always enjoy trying to save these aliases you guys have. It's an interesting challenge. Let's see here. Maybe I can crank out a wonder in the city after all. Gonna have to go for code of laws, I think, and hope to do something good with that. So I got nothing else going for me. Do I really want an archer? Yeah, I guess. What I really need is one more horseman. Probably get better defense with horsemen. I have two over here, so I mean, I might as well finish the army off. Um, maybe I'll run this guy back over. Oh wait, I loaded this guy up on the boat though. Hope that pays off. All right, what's going on here? Yeah, that's right. I only so I only got a couple. Yep, just one horse. So, code of laws in five turns. Damn, all that culture. No. I hate when this game does that. It's always yanking my controller. No reason to get in trouble with him quite quite yet. Hello, Atlantis. This guy's making me nervous, man. I'm gonna take him out. Just running around my city like that. Get out of here. Definitely will not be beating any world records with these clowns. These guys are lucky if they can get their pants on in the morning. Oh, here we go. Great scientist. It's worth it. It's totally worth it. Whoa! They got they must have got a school of Confucius, that would happen. This could be great though. Look at that. Oh, man. Hey, genocide. What's going on, man? Good to see you. Thanks, bro. Yeah, man, you got to keep it tight. This is number one. Got to keep it close on the side. If this works, this will be great. There we go. There we go.
Well, this is interesting. Got all these spies running around. It's over here. Nice. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on here, buddy? Did, did, yeah, I think the Chinese already got... Yeah, they already got liter literacy. There's no way I can get that. That sucks. Oh. This is a nightmare. Oh, well. Gonna have to get... Just in case, I'll set this for now. Okay, another spy. There we go. Just a little more money. Anything I can get, I'll take it. <laughs> explain the logic of my decisions? I try to explain the logic of my decisions. If I'm not, I'm not doing very good commentary. I try to... Uh, like, if you're wondering why I switched over to research, well, every time you hit one of those huts, you have a chance of getting a free technology. So a lot of times when I see a, a, a friendly hut, I'll swap it over in the hope that I get the technology. Uh, basically, it researches your technology for free. Whatever you have currently selected. So this is a really weird game, but this is the hand we've been dealt, folks. Yeah, I try to do things quickly. I don't want the game to take like four hours. I try to do it somewhat quickly. Well, at least we got Republic. That's something. Can't get literacy. Let's go for currency. Currency is actually useful. I got this boat in my way. Found another hut over there. <laughs> yeah, actually, I would like to do another Mongol one. That one was a train wreck. I think I could do a, a pretty nice Mongol run. What's cool about them is they, when you conquer a city, Let's say you get a walk-in magically somehow. Let's say you have a lucky day and you actually get a walk-in or an early, you take down an early capital. You get a ton of trade out of that city, which can actually be really awesome. Let's get us another great person. Hey, look what we found. Egypt is falling apart. Oh, there's another great person. There's another great scientist. I can't even build him. I can't even build a spy. I will steal my way to the top. Mongols, I, I think the Mongols are my least favorite, personally. The city will not grow. There's no way. Oh, dude. Are you serious? That was stupid. 
I did the wrong one. I was not paying attention. What the heck was that, dude? That is not what I wanted to do, but there's nothing I can do now. Uh, let's see here. If I put a guy right here, you'd have one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that'd be a pretty nice science city, potentially. No way to grow, though, so that's the problem. What I would need is I'd need a boat to get him over here. And then I could take advantage of these fish and grow and actually have a good science city. Yeah, did not mean to settle that jarhead. Not feeling too good about that, but at least the Egyptians don't have it. Where is my horse army? I can't even remember. It's way over here being useless. Holy crap, dude. These guys are pumping out great people. I can't even build them fast enough. Damn it. I don't, now I don't even want this horse. There we go. Well, what I could do I have no food in my capital. I can't grow it. There's only a, a food tile here. It's not really going to grow very well. That's all I have there. Four or five, huh? I just don't know about this. There's no good solutions in this scenario. Just kind of so-so. Yeah, the, they do have a builder over there, so I'm going to try to steal that. I think I'm just going to hang on to the scientist for now. Right now, I just need to steal these... All these great people, the computer keeps popping out. Get an 
another spy out. Start stealing these guys. It's the longest I've held on to a great person. Eh, a couple turns. I mean, sometimes you just get a great artist that you have nothing you really want to do with. Sometimes you hang on to them for the whole game. Just hoping that you can flip a city later on. Not happening. All right, this is that long peninsula. Let's continue exploring here. Hey, Dark Souls Lucifer. What's going on, man? I know Egypt is running around with a settler around here somewhere. So I'm going to have to take care of that. It's just a little difficult to take care of that right now. At the moment, the computer seems happy to feed me great people, so I'm cool with that. Because I really don't have much going for Team France. Yeah, we can play online sometime. Hopefully, no spy. Yes. Beautiful. There we go. Oh, there's Elephantine. I don't think I've kidnapped this many people this early in the game. There's a lot of people. So at least I got something good happening. Not too bad. I need another horse here. Ugh. Are you serious? Is that working? What the? I can't take it off the tree, are you serious? You see this? Can't even take it off the tree. It's still working, but okay. Whatever. Let's see, nine. Uh, it's mm, I'll type it in here. Not too bad. Can't believe I settled that humanitarian. That was great. We'll see what happens this next turn. Gonna attack this stupid little city and see what happens. A market in Dijon. Okay, that's great.
Not getting any cool bonuses. What a bummer. Can't get literacy. That's too late. Maybe I could at least get engineering. That would help with expansion. Which would be something. Oh, look at that. Hope they don't have an archer armies there. Please, let me take it. Yes! Looks like I was just in time. There, it looks like they were setting up a... Uh, setting up an archer army right there in that city, and I beat them just in time. These guys are insane. Look at these. How did you get settlers over there? Oh, sweet. More settlers. Now, I'm going to take a risk. But I think this is a good risk. So you see this 6 on 6 attack right here? What I'm going to do is attack, and if this looks good at the beginning, I'll let it go. And hopefully get a great general. But if it looks bad, I'll retreat. Worst case scenario, he gets an upgrade. But he gets veteran upgrade. I, get, I could get a general. So I have more upside than he does. Let's see what happens. Wish me luck. Good. Uh-oh. Good. Nope. Too risky. Was looking scary there. Oh, there's a whole bunch of stuff over here. Look at all this. They're, they're busy beavers over here. Man, look at these cities. No, that was a little too scary. A little too close for comfort. Do I seriously have three great scientists? Are you serious? Three great people. No, I, I definitely did not want to lose an elite. A little too dangerous. Yeah, at least I have a horse army over here now. <laughs> Level these guys up a little bit. I, can, I cannot believe I cannot change that. Alright. I believe I got a market over here. So this will have to be I can't really build any cool wonders right now. Though Oracle could be kind of cool. I could find a way to get an advantage with that. The only question is how long would it take for them to get religion? It's really, really not too far away from religion, but a lot of the times the computer doesn't even research that. And the Indians, and, yeah, no one really goes for religion. So, maybe? But East India Company is so much better. And it's a little risky. Oracle's really not a great. It can be good. But question is, should I just 
East India Company is so juicy. Nice. Got some nice technology out of here. Not too bad. These guys can't do anything to me right now. Where'd my boat go? I need my boat. Get this guy to safety. Need more great scientists here. <laughs> uh, what I need to really do is I just need to finish out a turn and get... What can I even research right now? Like, nothing good. So, these guys are just going to have to wait until I can research something worth rushing. I'm about to get another great person too, so this should be interesting. These guys are being jerks. Gonna have to rush an archer. England tech victory. Uh, let's see. What do I got here? Let me find out. I don't think I even have... I haven't tried Tech Victory with him yet, but... Yeah, I don't I haven't fleshed out all the records with him. 1915, I mean, that's not really even a real try right there. But that's what I have on record. It would be pretty easy to beat that. Man, these guys did not take advantage of this fish right here. Kind of wish these guys would leave me alone. I have to keep running away from this boat. Nice, 1025. Yeah, that's a pretty good time. 
I think England's having a problem flipping that city because of that hill. I know hill slows down culture a little bit, which sounds kind of silly, but hills and mountains can slow down a culture spread. I think. I know mountains can. Man, this is a pretty weird setup. Where they got one, two cities around here. Yeah. It is definitely a lot harder when you're trying to keep tabs on all these different cities and all these different AI opponents. Yeah, water slows it down too. <laughs> oh, thanks, Dimitri. Thank you for cheering that dying horse army. I can't believe. I'm so mad at these I'm so mad at the Arabs these uh Egyptians right now. I'm just going to have to unleash the wrath on these guys. I'd have to say sitting on my Stupid water tiles is like the most annoying thing you can do in this game. Losing that horse army sucked pretty bad, but at least we're getting some kind of tech going here. Still painful though. I can get a ton of money if I can just get this stupid caravan over here. I feel like this guy has attacked more than two times. Yes, I do know how hard how hard you farm those at work. I'd like to rush navigation and then get East India Company and then do something else cool. Gonna need an edge for sure. So here's navigation. Maybe engineering? Yeah. Or invention. Tianjin. Drop that guy off and get some income. Nice. 
All right. Demetrium, I'm going to frame those bits on my wall behind me. That's the first bit I ever made on Twitch. Thank you very much. There we go. I would love to get a dude on the island over there. If I can get an island right, a guy on the island right here, and then set up a science city, that could be pretty awesome. <laughs> oh, I appreciate that, Demetrium. That's really kind of you. Can I afford a boat? Probably not. I can at least build a boat, though. Boats cost a lot of money. 90 gold. Maybe I could just build them right here. It's hard to say no to that die, though. That's a lot of die. If I could set up a city right here, it could be pretty good. Only problem is I have to build a boat and then build a library. Could be pretty awesome though. Three, four, five, six. I don't know. That might be kind of interesting. I kind of want to try it. I always go for the mega city strategy, but sometimes you can go the uh, science library great scientist route settle them in the city sometimes that can work out I think I would want to get 14 technologies first though and I'm definitely going to want monarchy just because of that die over there Nice. It's a lot of gold. Stupid boat is going to camp me eternally. Spanish are getting a little too adventurous. Yeah, I saw that. I'm actually going to have to go that route for sure. Okay. These clowns want peace. Oh. Wow. Nice, thanks. <laughs> thanks, Charlie. <laughs> oh, that's funny. We're going to fight to the end, England. Nice. It's a lot of gold. Now, uh, let's see if I can just avoid getting killed by these idiot Egyptians. Wow, that is a lot of gold. In fact, that'll make it really easy to take care of all of this business over here. And even get a library. Nice. 
<laughs> Actually, yeah, I checked my stats, Genocide. It said that you were the number one chatter in all of my my uh, all of my streams. Uh oh, uh oh. I almost got good games right there. Archimedes. So we got banking. Got a lot of good stuff. I don't think I got it first though. Did I not get the 100 gold bonus? Doesn't look like it. You got enough boats, Egypt? Holy cow. Here we go. Looks like I got yet another great scientist. Okay. This game wants to keep giving me scientists. I am okay with that. Just remind me, don't let me settle these clowns. I don't want to settle these guys until it's until I have 14 techs. That way I can get four tech out of these guys, four uh, population from the city. And I'm pretty close. I hope this works. Because I need it to work. Oh my goodness. They definitely want a piece of me. Uh, I think this boat's gonna have to go bye bye. This is Operation Science. Science explosion. Let's see if we can make it. Put him there. Not quite ready to settle yet because I want one more population. So we'll see how that pans out. <laughs> These guys are going berserk over here. Is there anything I can get sooner? Ceremonial burial? I'm just gonna have to get that just for the sake of settling sooner. Because if they get past this, I really have nothing there stopping them. <laughs> Where are all my horse armies? They're all in positions I don't need them in. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> oh boy, this is a tough one. I might have to do it. It's uh too dangerous, man. I have to make an archer. Can you believe it? <laughs> Restart. Yeah, I don't know. Wish me luck. Let's see what happens here. They are so mad I have that scientist. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing, dude? Is that really the best spot? Maybe I should go get Atlantis. That would take me a while, though. Well. That'll help a little bit. <sighs> now the question is, I need a good spot for this guy, but I don't see anything amazing. That one's okay. But it may be good enough. And I kind of need it now rather than later. I just can't really afford to sit around and let these guys just do nothing. Actually, even this spot would be... Well, this one would be kind of nice. There's two whales right here. You like whales. But it's three turns away. Mm. Tough to say. Atlantis is always nice. But a lot of times it just gives you the text that you don't have. It gives you like your lowest text. So, just Matt, it always gives you like. So even if you're like way deep in the tech tree, it's just gonna give you the lowest ones. So it just depends. Situational depends. Do you, is it gonna be helpful to get those low techs? Maybe it gives you lower uh, require tech requirements just because you get uh, required techs for other techs you're trying to get. A lot of times, I just find it's just not as useful as you think. Uh, sometimes it can get you into, you know, get you your era bonuses a little earlier. But aside from that, I don't really think they're all that great. It's always nice to get, though. I would definitely rather get something like Ark of the Covenant or... Um, that's like the best one. Even the even the knight pretty early is pretty nice to get. I'm just gonna have to settle with this guy right here. It's just way too far away. It's gonna be a dramatic difference for me, so even though there's no die here or anything wonderful. And the real nice thing is I don't think anyone's gonna come bother me over here. Get my library too. Why not?
Oh, nice. Nice, Scott Van Pelt. I'm glad I could help. I am going to just have to get... Wait, ceremonial burial? I don't need that. <laughs> Alright, I can get democracy in two turns. Not bad. Alright, now, even though we only got a handful of cities here, we got a pretty nice tech per turn, so... And I'm, like, sweating bullets about getting my ass kicked by the Egyptians here. They're looking pretty angry. We'll see what happens. I don't think they're feeling too froggy at the moment, because I put one archer over there. This city, on the other hand, is probably doomed. Here we go again. Oh, nice. <laughs> this guy is clutch. He is clutch, baby. Not even sure it's worth dumping like a ton of resources here. It would be nice to save this city. Yeah, these guys are definitely, like I said, it's tough to get a strong start with the French when you don't know where anyone is or where anything is. It is definitely tough. And I kind of feel like I don't really want to invest a lot of resources there either. It's like... I don't think these two little cities over here are really good. what's going to save me at the end of the game here. Interesting. This is one weird game. And what in the world are the Spanish doing? These guys are creeping me out. Oh boy. Nice. March in Medic, are you serious? <laughs> what a joke, man. This archer is unbelievable. Alright. We got Pikeman. Let's switch it over. <laughs> That's not cool, Miguel. Alright. Uh, no. We're fighting to the end. Oh! I have no choice. That's right. At least we got a nice city right here. Just scraping together whatever we can here. Wow. 
Wow, technology is looking so good. Oh, that was pretty dumb. Why did you give me my pikeman here? Didn't really. I would rather have the veteran from my capital. The AI is not really smart about taking the great leader into account. Um, uh, let's go. This guy's about to hit five. Five. That's nice. Bank, I guess. This guy is totally going gunning for me here. Nope, he still wants my scientist. I'm gonna have to go for it. Yes. That was risky. Let's get Monarchy in one turn. It's pretty good. Holy cow. Alright, so now we're getting some serious text. You can't rush against multiple players. Well, looks like I can get invention first, so that's a good thing. Feudalism would be nice. Invention would be good. Maybe we can get um, another great person that is useful. Whoa, let's go, buddy. All right, there we go. 179 tech per turn. Not too bad. All things considered, we're the French, and nothing's going right, so. Can we get in one turn? Can we get it in one turn? That's the question. Nope. And that boat is just going to ruin my day. I seriously can't get one more beaker. Somewhere? No? Alright. Yeah, this is free for all. I can't believe they have boats on both of my fish. That is so annoying. Pretty ridiculous. Not good. These you got infinite legions coming out of that boat.
Come on. <sighs> English are being super nosy. They're just gonna declare war and walk on walk in on one of my cities eventually. Don't really consider them a threat, though. But I should build a defensive unit just to avoid all the headache. No way, man. Way too many things went wrong. I can still get a decent time. I don't think these guys are going to attack. I'm going to gamble. Let's see what happens. Because the English just asked for peace from me, so it would, I don't really think they're going to swing back that quickly. These archers are amazing. Alright. Nice. And we obsoleted the Colossus, so that's really good. <laughs> I'd like to get feudalism. Just so I can protect myself here a little bit. It'd be pretty awesome to rush a barracks here. Just having the ability to defend myself would be really sweet. And I could actually make good use of this great leader. For those that don't know, you can actually rush a barracks and then have a great leader in the same city. And what happens is then you get elite units built from that city that have a elite upgrade which is really sweet um, it's a little bit expensive kinda don't think it's worth it screw it let's do it At least I got England to get out of my hair there a little bit. Very nice. Fyodor. What do you guys think? What do we get? Got a pikeman out of it? It's not a bad city. Dude, what? Did you see that? I was like trying to steer my ship and she came out of nowhere and asked me for peace.
That was insane. Start pumping out. So actually, now I have this resource right here that allows me to get some food. So I'm actually, maybe I could grow the city a little bit. I really need to, need to get the production techs. Like railroad. That would be nice. Let's see what's going on here. I don't think I should get this quite yet. Because <coughs> it might finish university for me. So I'm going to wait until I finish this here. Let's see what we get from the boat. From Atlantis here. Alright. And we're going to stick with democracy. It's probably our best bet right now. Rifleman. Okay. And steam power. Hooray! Finally fix these cities up. And now we have a cruiser, so that will help a little bit. Got some nice defensive units and nice offensive, offensive units. What I really want at this point is universities. I'm not really sure about that. The domestic advisor? Stewardess? Yeah, domestic yeah, domestic advisor. Let's hit the uh, 500 gold milestone, and then we can get another great person going. We're just kind of cruising along. See, see, ooh, interesting. This is a very unusual game because usually I get get a lot of settlers going and all that business. But it just hasn't rolled that way for me in this game. Uh, kind of interesting. These guys have additional movement with riflemen. 
It's somewhat useful, but not really that great. And the city has grown actually pretty fast. See, maybe settling that humanitarian was youth it was worth it after all. Maybe. Thankfully that game tile is right next to me to help me out a little bit. Let's go explore with this guy a little bit. See what's going on on this map. Yeah, that's a lot of turns. Don't really have a big production city, so it's tough for me to crank out wonders or anything like that. Don't really have that luxury this game. And none of this stuff is that great for me right now. I'm going to have to go with industrialization. Just go have to go for it. Look what I found. Alright, so we're getting a great person here. Got to do something with that city. Uh oh, Spanish getting froggy. Here they come. How much is it? One sixty. That's gonna be a lot. Let's get these knights in position. Spanish are going to regret that. All right, Wilbur Wright. Let's go settle this guy. Infiltration March, Blitz Infiltration, Medic. <sighs> Medic, I suppose.
What did I get? Infiltrate. Okay, so I need blitz. Let's go guard this guy real quick just to be sure. And next turn I'll give this guy something to deal with. One turn of peace remaining with the Egyptians. We'll see what happens then. I'll probably declare war immediately. Uh, leadership. That's a good one. It's pretty amazing if you've actually fully upgraded these defensive units. They have the ability to get to unbelievable defensive numbers. <laughs> oh no! Yep. There you go, buddy. Well, that didn't take too long. Holy cow, this thing is growing insanely fast. Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's get the spy rolling. I think this guy's done. <laughs> Can't believe I still have these cities. I didn't really have much <laughs> protecting it. I took quite a few risks just to hang on to them. <laughs> oh, the Egyptians. They think they got this all under control, apparently. That's alright, we'll just hang out and see what happens. Sixty-two gold. I think it's worth it.
That's right. I built a road. I hope you're happy. That's right. Built a road. You saw it here first, man. I'm gonna get a cannon, guys. A free cannon. A French cannon. Plus two attack. <laughs> uh, I kind of want tanks. I don't want to deal with any interference from these guys. Corporation or combustion? One corporation. I think we can steal this. No! Yes, I got it. They're about to have tanks in their front door. Pumping out some riflemen, so now this is not too bad. Cannon armies, man. Why have cannon armies when you can make some tanks? Tanks are just the best. Everything about them is awesome. Oh! Look what we have here. We'll see if this works. Yeah, I'm sure the British will decide that they need to declare war on me any minute now. Whoa, dude, granaries. Another great person. <laughs> uh, four.
Because I'm a democracy right now, and I can't declare war until they dec until I can't fight until they come and get me. Spanish marching around with some settlers and uh oh uh oh here they come boys oh no dude these guys are unbelievable You can't hang with them, dude. That's like the fifth time they've held that city down. All right, I got Blitz. This is gonna be juicy. Infiltration. All right, you got March. This guy has Infiltration. This is gonna be ugly. <laughs> and this guy's got Blitz. Yeah, those Militia. They were unbelievable. What's up now, bruh? research tree here atomic theory would be pretty sweet um i should nuke somebody here just because i can't get advanced flight but at least i could get something like networking Oxford would be nice. Samurai Castle, they're all pretty good. <laughs> I think you mean the Chinese? Oh. <laughs> the Japanese yeah, the Japanese aren't in this one. I would though. Hmm. Um, 
I don't know if Leonardo's is worth it. I would get a tank army out of it. Yeah, none of these are really that amazing right now, but the fact that I do have night armies around would at least give me some tanks. Worthless, worthless. Samurai castle. Kind of worthless once you have tanks. Oxford's probably going to give me networking, which is probably worthless. It's going to go Leonardo's. I got tank. Actually, this one here is also. Yeah, so these guys are going to be. Yeah, so these guys are tanks too. I think that's worth it. And got some tanks over here. That's cool. Come on, guys. <laughs> that's a funny bug. Even though you turn them into tanks at that point. They still only have the two movement from the start of their turn. But whatever. It would have been nice if I could have attacked there. And all my warriors turned into tanks, which is pretty hilarious. <laughs> the best college subject. Uh -huh. I've got such a clear advantage at this point. Uh, let's see. French. I almost wonder if I should just go domination victory with these guys and just clean some clock here. Yeah, it's time to clean some clock. Thank you. No, you're gonna die. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> She's flipping out. She's like, please, please give me peace. Oh. Boom. See you later, buddy. Anyone else want to cause problems? Amazes me how many pikemen they pack into these cities. Three pikemen armies. Beautiful. Whoops.
What happened? You died. That's too bad. <laughs> yeah, we can go to Madrid. Might as well capture this guy while I'm here. <laughs> uh. Hey Spain, what's going on man? Whoa, whoa, what's going on with the camera here? <laughs> Thanks Spain. Let's just declare war on everybody. Just to get some vengeance on these jerks. Oh, look at this. Oh, <laughs> oh, it didn't work. Oh, it didn't work again. Oh, man. Thank you. Free upgrade. That was nice. Uh oh. Oh, please help me. Oh, desperation. The desperation. You can cut it with a knife. Believe it or not, we're going monarchy, boys. Going monarchy. Oh, no, no, no. Absolutely not. You're gonna die. Monarchy is the best, man. You didn't know? Monarchy is the... I mean... Just look at all this palace culture, man. Look at that. Look at all that culture. It's amazing. Why can't I rush a tank? I don't have any money. Boom! <laughs> oh, it didn't work out for you guys.
That's unfortunate. Look at these French cannons. Boom! What's in the city? They got a barracks. Not bad. Workshop. Uh, let's make a rifleman. I don't want anyone getting sneaky. What's going on here? Rifleman. Nope. She is flipping out. All right, have, see you have a good night, Genocide. Thanks for swinging by. Was that? All right, I think I've finally eliminated them from this peninsula. Blitz infiltration. What do you got? Scout blitz. All right, you're going blitz. What do you have? March. Perfect. <laughs> so this will be a perfect tank army right here. In my definition, my definition of perfect meaning has March, Infiltration, and Blitz. It's going to smoke this Spanish city. They have no chance. I have a hill, too. <laughs> that hurts, man. Where were you when I needed you? One, two, three.
Damn. Beijing? No, we got a few cities we gotta take care of here. <laughs> They're all still in the game. All of them. Okay, I think she's gone. I don't think she had any other... Yeah, she's gone. A lot of their capitals just happen to have, I think every capital had a hill by it, except for England. Trading post. It's an awesome desert city right there. Is it smart to use bombers as defense for cities? Um, I wouldn't use them for. I would use them for offense more than anything. Bombers are pretty good at cracking cities. But yeah, you can use them defensively too. Why not? There we go. Alright, so we eliminated two opponents in one turn. That's good. It's really just one capital left at this point. Um, let's go with market. Whoa, look at that. This could be exciting. Oh, 
Don't really need tech at this point. They're in big trouble. They've only got pikemen. They're gonna need at least riflemen. Yeah, four rounds of these guys. Upgrade your troops? Yeah, these guys are upgraded. These guys have uh, three upgrades, actually. Um, you can do that with a wonder. If you build Leonardo's workshop, you can upgrade your units to the next step. Bye-bye, China. Alright, that wasn't too awful. Whew. Ah, so salty. Oh well. What did we get? 1500? What did we get? It tells you here. 1525. <sighs> 1525. Not too, not too great. I'm gonna have to rethink a strategy with those guys. It's hard to get a, t a really a start that looks good or makes any sense of them. I guess you just gotta get lucky at the start. It definitely helps a lot. Um, so that's still a good time, and I'm gonna add this time to the little spreadsheet that I have. It's still the best time I can... If you go out there and you search on YouTube French Domination Victory, you still can't really find it. I mean, you're not going to find any really good times out there. This would actually look like a good time. It's not really that good of a time. But, um... It's better than... Uh, better than average. Nevertheless, uh, so that's it for tonight. Uh, thanks for joining up guys thanks for watching it was a lot of fun this one was a pretty weird a pretty weird battle I don't know I can definitely get a better time than that even though the French are terrible they can definitely get better than 1525 so just want to thank you guys for uh, joining in I'll re-upload this later on YouTube so if you want to re-watch this later I always stream 9 p.m. Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. I keep to that schedule and stick to that pretty regularly, so you can count on me being here at those times. I'm looking at maybe adding another game, looking at maybe Diablo 2 at some point, but I do want to... Eastern time, sorry. Yeah, Eastern time. So... Yeah, that's Eastern Time. So, uh, yeah, I like to do it three times a week. And right now, it's mainly sticking with this game. But uh, I am looking at probably some Diablo 2 in my future. We'll see how that goes. So, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for joining in on the stream. Good night.